Hey everybody, Zarcasm here. Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft World Tours. Um, in this episode, I'm going to be showing off, uh, well, none of that, because none of that is actually mine. Um, I'm going to be showing off my humble abode that I've built on the uh, Sexy Guild server. Uh, Sexy Guild is a... Uh, they're mostly an MMO guild. Um, you know, Guild Wars, Terra, um, Aeon, uh, a couple other games, uh, games none of which I play. Um, they're, uh, I, I'm not actually in the guild, I'm just uh, friends with the with uh, the, f the founder and some of the admins. And uh, so uh, they invited me onto their Minecraft server when they started it. So uh, we're here. Um, this is my humble abode hidden into the the wall here. Um, so, uh, you know, just got just here. Uh, I've been on an adventure. I need to throw some of my junk in here. I'll worry about that later. Um, got. I don't, we'll start down here. Got an underground uh, kind of railway to uh, kind of the central area of, uh, of this district, if you will. Uh, the reason why there's water here is this brewery this actually used to be the pumpkin farm so i needed there was a bit of water to uh, for the pumpkins to grow uh, so this is the brewery now i just keep my uh brew stands here sugarcane farm uh piston controlled i hit that button pistons come out and it throws the sugarcane down for me um back out here all my furnaces uh, this is my original mine shaft down to some caverns. We won't go down there though. Uh, important stuff. Uh, and over here, next room, we have the melon farm. This is how I was uh, how I was getting food for the longest time actually uh, before I moved up to wheat farm. I'll show you that here in a second. Uh, this used to be my dog kennel. I named my dog Trogdor. Um, sadly, my my dog has gone missing. Uh, he was with me on an adventure, and he didn't die. He just disappeared. So I don't, I don't know. Maybe he'll come back one day. Um, over here, got the Nether portal. I'll show you the Nether in a little bit because it's actually got some stuff. Uh, some more chests for storage. Have uh, kind of a little. Oh, what is this? This is new. <laughs> Interesting. Um, this little area with the water, uh, this is actually already hollowed out in here. I just replaced all the dirt with mossy cobble because I figured it would, you know, it would look neater. Uh, somebody's secret, secret shaft. Um, and I don't know what that is. I, that wasn't here before. Um, kind of a tunnel again down to kind of the middle area. Uh, let's go back in here. Well, over here we got my enchanting library. Um, I've already got a couple of enchantments going. Got my armor enchanted. Uh, I used to have protection plus four armor, but uh, or protection four, but I've uh, lost it all in a duel. Uh, let me go check out the Nether real quick. Oh no, this direction. Um, another another room, kind of identical. Uh, let's see. I think he meant Nether Wart with this. We have a Nether Wart farm down here, um, and it actually goes. <laughs> look at all this Nether Wart. Holy crap! It actually goes to another floor of Nether Wart. And what is this? Wow. So there's like so much stuff. I haven't been on the server in a while. It's actually been down uh, for upgrades and stuff, but uh, oh, doors open. It's no good. Ah. Oh. Now what is this? What? People. <laughs> Uh, that's actually, I'll show you guys that, that's pretty cool. Um, this leads to, yeah, to another fortress. 
a couple other nether portals that we've established. Uh, and that leads to some other portals. That down there leads to actually that down there leads to where I want to go. Uh, I'm only showing I'm only showing you guys my stuff. You know, it's a my world tour episode. Dang it. Uh, that didn't used to be here either. Neither did that. <laughs> uh, this is a kind of another castle that I built for a contest. Um, I was the only entry, so I won by default. But um, so this is my you know, nothing actually in the chests, just for decoration mostly. Uh, nice little basement. Yeah. Oh. Well, Oh no, the levers are where they're supposed to be. Right underneath the lava moat. <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, and then we go up the stars here. Um, it's kind of a central crafting hall. And kind of a towery kind of area. Hello. Surprised I haven't run into any ghasts. And here we are, one of the towers. Uh, more stuff that's appeared over there. Probably not safe to jump down. <laughs> Gotta remember, I I don't have uh, I don't have quantum armor <laughs> here. Can't actually survive the fall, nor can I survive in lava. All right. So that's pretty much all my stuff here in the nether. Let's go back to the real world and finish off the world tour. Do -do 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 -do. Just a way out there. Oop. Out of the way. Kind of laggy in the nether on this server. Oop. Oh, come back, chicken. Okay, let's continue the tour. Wheat farm. Uh, some more chests over here for storage. Uh, all of these, all of that, and all of those. Well, <laughs> um, there's a. We have a, a couple of grind XP grinders, and I've got a zombie grinder kind of off in the desert somewhere, and uh, that's pretty much where I got all these swords and all that flesh and all that. But this is the main part, the uh, the wheat farm. Uh, those of you that watch Dave Chaos like I do, uh, if you ever watched his uh, To the End or Bust series with uh, Dave Chaos, uh, Gar, and Nipty, you'll recognize this as a farm build that Gar uh, built, one of the videos. Um, and it basically just, you have, I forget the exact measurements, but you just have like a center bit of water here, um, and then you have a, a lever that controls pistons here and pistons here, and when you open it, the water just kind of shoots through. Um, let me get rid of some of this junk, and I'll just show you guys how it works. Uh, try, try to keep stuff organized. Uh, dang it, that chest is full. Dang it! Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's go up here. Unless this is junk anyway. I raided a couple of dungeons. Uh, music discs. I should make a music player now. Got some music discs. Buckets. Oh yeah, I was building, building these for uh, the end. We have we found the stronghold, we found the end portal, uh, but we haven't actually killed the dragon. And uh, my idea was to enchant this gold armor and and uh, gold pickaxe and stuff, so I'd stand out. I was basically going to be the healer, uh, and we may still do that actually if we ever get around to it. Uh, okay, I got a little bit more room. All right, I'll show you guys how this works. So we flip the switch. Water comes out from the sides, and it just pushes all the water into this water flow, which pushes it all up here. 
you just kind of stand here and collect it all. Uh, I don't recommend using glass panes in the back wall like I did. Um, and I'll show you why here in a second. Flip that back off. There we go. Uh, sometimes when the water pushes the wheat, some of the seeds will actually get stuck on that window seal like that. So you'll have to actually walk over here and grab it, which isn't a big deal. So, and then you just replant your seeds like this. Doesn't take doesn't take too long. So yeah, when I when I started the server, I basically I had pretty much no food of surviving off of zombie flesh until I finally found uh, an abandoned mine shaft and finally found some melon seeds. Um, because, I mean, this is mostly a desert out here, and there really wasn't any tall grass to get seeds from. Um, so, I was surviving off of zombie flesh and moved up to watermelon, and uh, finally was able to get enough seeds to get a small farm going, and just kind of just kind of grew into uh, grew into this. And as you can, as you saw from my seed box, uh, you, you end up getting a lot of seeds afterwards. So, but that's, uh, this is only half of my mountain complex. Time to enter the livestock breeding center. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, we'll throw the wheat in here. It's for animal breeding. In this, uh, first pin, we have sheep. Uh, there used to be, like, three sheep in here. I don't know where the rest disappeared to. He's the only one left. Um, and he's a naturally occurring brown sheep. So... Uh, and I just kind of have him pinned off, so that way none of them escape. Uh, over here, well, I'll show you this first. This is my kind of loading dock, if you will, to bring in the animals. My anti-zombie door lock. You know, pistons here. Uh, so this is where I bring the animals to. Just shut that. Uh, what we have here, both of these pins here, these are both pig pins. Uh, as you can see, there's no pigs in them, or it, at least this one. There is one pig here. Like I said, this is kind of a desert area and, and a jungle, so there really isn't that many animals. So I've got this pig here, and the way this is designed, I'm not actually going to do it since I only have one pig and I, I want to breed him. The idea is to kind of breed pigs in these pins. And then when I'm ready to cook them, I uh, get, you know, two pigs out to this side of the fence. So that way I at least have two for breeding. I flip this uh, lever here, and it pushes water this way, and then these pistons retract. Uh, and then there's uh, another, it's the same thing, uh, pull some pigs out to here. Uh, water pushes those pistons retract. And I'll show you where it goes. It goes under here. So this pin empties into this waterway, and the other pin empties into this waterway. And it just comes down. And as you see here, nice little, uh, oh, what is that? Looks like, uh, <laughs> looks like somebody, glowstone, why, huh, looks like somebody dug a tunnel through my, uh, oh, I think I know what it is, I think, uh, the owner was trying to dig some, like, railways. Okay, I get it. Kind of messed up my trap here, because... Oh, because one of the ladders is gone. There's... Oh, yeah. Okay, so whoever did this busted out a dirt block that I had a ladder on that's stopping the lava. 
Oh, it's, uh, I guess it's okay. Maybe I'll fix it later. But anyway, so the pigs, they come down here. Oh, that's going to be a problem. I'm going to have to fix that. So the pigs come down here and they uh, get roasted by the lava. So, <laughs> my sign there, no escape. So they get roasted by the lava and the since they die from fire damage, the pork chop is actually already cooked. And it just drops down here and I collect it. Uh, so, so that's, uh, I haven't actually gotten to really test it too much because I haven't really found any more pigs. Um, but in the meantime, I have another solution, but we'll get to that. A uh, little disposal area for junk. Some flowers, bone meal, which I'll throw the bones in there. Uh, this here is a, <laughs> basically a flower generating room a guy made for me. Um, basically, use bone meal on the floor. Excuse me. Basically, use bone meal on the floor when it when the light is on. And it, you know, creates tall grass and flowers. Turn the light off. Makes everything pop off because there's not enough light. Uh, I suppose you could probably do the same thing with mushrooms. Plant mushrooms in the dark and then turn the light on. Um, you know, just for the heck of it. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I broke it. Oh well. Not important. Just something nifty. Uh, this is my cow pen, which had cows in it, but then they all disappeared and one of the one of the mods spawned a mushroom in into it for giggles, I guess. Uh, we haven't actually found a mushroom biome, so that's the crappy part there. Uh, over here we have my chicken farm. This whole back area is the chicken farm. It's in three stages. So here's stage one, the breeding pen. So we have chickens sitting up here in this water, uh, laying the eggs, and the eggs go down to that water flow. Uh, I feel like I'm running out of chickens, actually, but it's all right. Like I said, I haven't been here in a while. Uh, and the eggs come to this room, the processing pen. See, eggs come out here, and I'll either store them or I shoot them into this pen. Get back out of here before they escape. <laughs> shoot them into this pen. Now when I have enough chickens in here, I'll flip that lever on the wall. It'll retract those pistons and water will come down and it will also, these pistons here will open those and we'll push the chickens down to stage three the collection pin. So we go down here. Do, 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 do. And what happens is they enter the Chicomatic 2000 Mark 1.2.5. <laughs> they will uh, drop onto this uh, cactus. I, I tried to do a lava trap but like I did with the pigs but it doesn't seem to work. So they'll fall on to this cactus, and then the chicken and feathers and stuff will just come down here. And I'll collect it and do whatever it is I need to do with it. Make arrows. Uh, oh, yeah, I brought the gravel down here because of the flint. Um, and my chickens. So, yeah, it's not too bad. I've been, been living off chickens for a while. I'd like to move up to pigs, but know how that goes. Um, get to this area here in a second. Uh, actually, we'll go around this way. Uh, this little bit here is what I've what I've called the uh, Tomb of the Creeper, and it was just a cave that I found while I was digging out this mountain, and I kind of added some mossy cobble and some stairs and stuff. Uh, there's not really anything special to it, just when I found it, there was like five or six creepers there. Um, and I just had an idea to kind of, you know, spruce up the place and make it look a little, make it look a little niftier. Oh, yeah, I added some fire and um, was working on 
kind of making a creeper face in the wall here at one point, and then I discovered like another hollow chamber, and uh, I just that's about the time I uh, stopped playing on server and started playing on like tech it and stuff and some other things. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So let's uh, let's get back upstairs. Let's finish the tour. The tour. The tour. Do 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 do. Up the stars. God, these vines are crazy. Uh, this lever just sh uh, shuts the door while I'm in it. I haven't. I haven't quite mastered the uh, piston door thing. Over here we have a cactus farm. If you've seen my uh, Tech It World Tours, you've uh, you've seen this similar design. Uh, it's not as big. It's a little smaller. Um, that's what she said. And uh, obviously there's no obsidian pipe to collect it, so the cactus just comes down here and I just throw it in the chest whenever I feel like coming down here and grabbing it. So, and I've also, I actually kind of screwed it up. I need to... Uh, some sand here and because sometimes they'll break off and they'll actually get stuck right there so I need to another thing I need to fix <laughs> and then uh, finally over here we have the pumpkin farm uh, the new and improved pumpkin farm uh, I ran out of glowstone for this whole facility so I started to use jack-o-lanterns instead so I needed a, a bigger pumpkin farm than what I had and uh, piston controlled to do there we go that's pretty much it the rest of this out here uh, I hollowed out this entire mountain because I'm eventually gonna fill this entire complex with some more rooms I just haven't thought of rooms to put in here yet uh, these redstone things as uh, one of the one of the guys that's in the guild he's uh, he's pretty much a redstone expert and he was just kind of showing me some different things that he uses. So, pretty neat. So, I just kind of left his stuff here and just gradually destroy it as I expand. Um, in fact, if you guys uh, want to comment, see, you know, what you guys think I should put here, because I'm kind of kind of out of ideas. Not, not really sure what to fill the rest of this with. Uh, so, if you'd like to see something cool, you know, let me know in the comments. Uh, down here is just another way to the outside. Um, so basically the intent was like this here would actually be a hallway uh, kinda similar to that or similar to this hallway here um, and then this all this hollow area would actually be the rooms. So but yeah that's uh, that's my place on the Sexy Guild server. Uh, not giving out the IP because it is a uh, just a private server for friends. It's usually pretty much what I play on. I don't really play on public servers. Too many, uh, too many douchebags out there that play Minecraft. So yeah, I guess I will. Uh, I will see you guys next time on the next world tour. Say goodbye, piggy. Say goodbye, piggy. Yeah. Say goodbye, sheepy. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. I've done had enough of this. I am with God. Oh, I was afraid of that. Huh? It wasn't You're a clear quick enough. Fellow. Yes. For the good. Can I help you? I'll do my best. What you want? My blade will cut it down the sky. I am looking forward to your Yeah, okay. Yep. I'm gone. Dead. Ah, why are you not attacking? You've got the group. Go past the small run. Life is with God's speed. You have need of me. Nature.